。周三，加州房地产业者协会公布了二零二三年加州的房市预测，他们预计明年整体将呈现疲软趋势，独栋别墅的销量也将下降百分之七点二，房价中位数也会下跌至七十五万八千六百美元。With less demand and actually more supply coming online, we could see prices come down a little bit. Our current forecast is for a negative 8.8 percent in 2023. Half of which is just because we're not selling so many 10 million dollar homes as we were at this time、uh, last year. But another part is that the buyer demand has taken a step back. There's more inventory, so we're not going to have that red hot market that we've had over the last couple of years. Fewer homes selling above list price. Homes taking a little bit longer to sell, and probably ultimately meaning. Um, a little bit of a dip in median price. He also said, "A reduced price is the market recovery after the pandemic and is not similar to the 2008 financial crisis." We have much better fundamentals in the mortgage market. A lot of people have a lot of home equity, fixed rate loans, and so even as we're going through a challenging macroeconomic time, it's not going to result in the same kind of price pressures that we had during the last financial crisis. We see it as more of a moderate recession with a, a moderate adjustment to the median price before the economy starts to grow. Deciding the market's direction is a key factor. 三十年期固定房贷利率已经逼近百分之七，对此，经济学家认为明年利率不会大跌。I think that inflation up to this point's been stubbornly high. That the Fed will remain, like, maintain a, a pretty aggressive stance against that, meaning that we'll probably see interest rates remain relatively high. I think towards the end of next year we will see rates decrease, but I don't think we'll go back to that high two, low three percent mortgage rate. I think that they'll go down. 此外，他还提醒买家不要被短期内利率的变化所束缚。如果买房的目的是用于居住。个人财富在未来十二至十八年内的长期变化才是需要考量的关键。新唐人电视台记者张博元、朱甜甜，加州长滩市采访报道。